Behind the blast of Arctic air for Christmas is coming a huge warm-up for New Year's. With this pattern change, though, also comes the risk for severe weather again in the Deep South. While all of this is going on, the Pineapple Express will pump in tons of Pacific moisture to the west. What's up, guys? I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegas. Good to see you again. We are going to talk about the major blowtorch heading to the northeast as we move into New Year's weekend. That warmer air, though, could set the stage for another round of severe weather in basically the same places that we saw the last two rounds in parts of the Deep South. And then we're going to head out west. There's going to be a series of atmospheric rivers really pounding the west coast of the United States, bringing the potential for mudslides, flooding rain, and a whole lot of snow to the higher elevations. I hope everybody was able to enjoy the holiday week. I know there were a lot of travel issues. Of course, the weather did not cooperate for a lot of us across the country. I would love to know where you traveled to for Christmas. Please post that in the comments below. Here we go. We're going to start with the temperature rebound across the northeast specifically. As we get into Thursday afternoon, the bubble of the anomalous warmth now has moved into the Great Lakes and parts of the northeast where we need it the most after the crazy Arctic chill and a whole lot of snow we had leading up to Christmas in this dark brown color here. We're talking 25 to 30 degrees above normal. That's places like St. Louis, into Chicago, into Indianapolis, through parts of western Ohio, and then through most of Michigan. Now, as we take this further to the east and move into Friday afternoon, that same bubble of warmth, if you will, then pushes in through most of Maine, 15 to 25 degrees above normal, also into West Virginia. This slides into New Jersey and into New York City. If you're planning on heading to Times Square, it's going to be relatively comfortable on New Year's Eve. We're talking temperatures around 50 by the time the ball drops. There will be a few scattered showers around, though, as we ring in the new year. If you are finding this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. Here is the reason for the resurgence of the warmth across most of the country, especially the east as we move into New Year's weekend. We have a little dip in the jet stream here. We also have a big ridge of high pressure building over Jamaica, Cuba, the Dominican. It's going to be great weather down there if you live there or if you're heading there on vacation. That is going to help to pump back in some tropical air and moisture back to the deep south. And then some of that warmth then lifts back into the northeast. Now watch what happens over the next couple of days. We're focused on the severe weather threat once again in the deep south for early next week. We're going to have a bigger ripple in the jet stream working across the south. This is also going to be playing into the extremely wet west that we're going to talk about in a second. But here is that dip right in here. Watch what happens. This is Monday morning. It's going to be Monday evening into early Tuesday morning that we're going to be watching. So this is going to be on the 2nd and 3rd of January. We still have high pressure anchored in over the Caribbean. But look at this big dip in the jet stream. It's kind of oriented like this. It's a negative tilt. You see how it's kind of riding back to the north and west. Here's our trough or dip in the jet stream. That allows greater temperature differences and helps to enhance instability in the area that it's impacting we also again have the pulling apart of the air up top which is going to help to get thunderstorms going right there and help to introduce wind shear so really again as we look into monday and tuesday january 2nd and 3rd that's where we're going to be looking for another round of severe weather in the deep south it could also eject here as we get towards january 4th into places in this part in the extreme southeast of the united states some uncertainty though remains as to how things come together for this part but we are watching closely pineapple express sets up here is hawaii down here that is just an atmospheric river really connected back to the deep pacific here you see the darker yellows and greens that is all that pacific moisture just being unloaded into california again the darker colors here are some of the dry weather that resides north of that atmospheric river look what happens though another one comes to town after we lose that so this is on january 2nd into 3rd really getting into the fourth and this one is even more intense you see again this narrow ribbon of moisture and again that is essentially what an atmospheric river is extending all the way back to hawaii when it does that we call that the pineapple express pumping in that pacific moisture again we're going to be dealing with this really all the way into the first full week of 2023 in terms of how much snow could fall again i have this extended out all the way until the evening of january 3rd 
we are maxing out here at about 91 inches of snow. You see that on the scale, the max up top of the computer forecast there. And that's going to be right here in the Sierra Nevadas where you see that bright pink blue color there. A lot of heavy snow also going to fall through the Cascades and then into the mountainous terrain of the Rockies as well. So that could be the fun part, again, for the skiers. The not fun part, and again, this is counterintuitive. We need the moisture out here. We don't want all of it at once, though. And you see right here where we are pegging, this is now going to be through, let's take it out to Wednesday, January 4th. All of this darker brown and blue area, this is where we could get three to six inches plus of rain. Places like San Francisco, Sacramento, again, north central California, very wet as well in the lower elevations like Seattle, Portland. We could be talking about one to three inches, potentially more of rain. That's through Wednesday. We could get more through the upcoming weekend, that first full weekend of 2023. So over the weekend and then into early next week, the focus of these videos will be the severe weather threat across the Deep South. And then, of course, the crazy, impactful round and round and rounds of atmospheric rivers that will pound the western U.S. Again, please let me know where you're tuning in from. Post that in the comments below. I want to thank all of the new subscribers that have found this channel over the last week or so. I really appreciate the support. It's been awesome meeting everybody and talking about the weather. That's what we do here. So again, please post in the comments below. If you like that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. Again, be careful if you are traveling back from Christmas. It's crazy out there, and we'll catch you next time.